came. New England came. New England. Light, you know, he, he gets the pass for both. Try yeah. stay real world, New England, and Smash. I'm on finger six or seven right now. You, you brought a lot. You got yeah, a lot. Yeah, we, we got some serious competition here, and just want to say that our region is doing us proud. Of course, Tweak, Midwest can claim him now, but yes. again, his heart is in New Jersey. They need to claim him because, whew, that region. <laughs> Chill. That oh, region. man. Chill. Anyway. Firing shots at everybody. Anyway, it's all good. We're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to Smash. Thank yeah. you for pick a good song. We yeah, that's a good song. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. I, of course. It's Saturday night. You know who's Yeah, playing. you already know who's you know in who's, town. You know who's got the gigs on Saturday night. Oh, if you pick the roost. <laughs> Don't do it. Nice. I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs in Smash of all time. Yeah, it's a good one. For it's a really sure. good song. It's a good one. It's a great one. That's the Plaza one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah plaza yeah. theme, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, here we go, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Let's Make Moves yes, 2018. Is. Also, please keep it locked. Consider subscribing to Even Matches yeah. Gaming. We got killer content in both the US and Canada on a weekly, monthly, annual basis. Yearly. You know, all, all kinds of sick stuff. Um, and of course, this is the home of Get On My Level, largest Canadian tournament. Um, but yeah, guys, without further ado, we're going to cut into the winner's finals, Tweak and DeBuzz. Of course, it's always a little bit of a toss up in Let's terms of going. which character. Tweak will pick, but he did lose to DeBuzz last weekend, I believe, with DK and Krom. Yeah, I mean, don't okay. think he tried the Wario. This makes sense. I feel like DK is gonna get like smothered by Pikmin, and Krom's gonna get edge guarded. So go for Wario. Yeah, and DeBuzz also has Palutena as a backup character too. Oh. So we could see him switch to that if he's not feeling. Maybe, but like we already saw how Tweak yeah. was doing as Wario against uh, Palutena when he played earlier against Nairo. So exactly, I would say that we're probably gonna see this matchup for the majority, if not the entirety, of the set. Well, we shall see. DeBuzz might have a secret counter pick loaded up too. You never know. You never know. Tweak looking for these forward tilts by the edge. So much knockback on that move. And a decent amount of activity as well. But the same could be said for down air. One more and he's out of here. How's he going to recover? Wow. Not well enough. Again, no hitbox on all Mars up B. It gets you back from really far, but it leaves you open. Oh, Ooh, second hit in air. That was crucial into two up airs. All right, Tweak building that damage. That was only 36. It looked like it hurt a lot more. All right, there's a grab. Not, not nearly close enough to follow up here. And Tweak just kind of just, uh, you know, relentlessly throwing these aerials down. Even if he doesn't connect with the buzz, he can just kick, you know, the Pikmin away. So it's worth it. The timing on that parry, I feel like it almost had to be an accident. He accounted for the hit lag on the bike and everything. Yeah. Now he's got the bike for the <laughs> ledge trap as well. Just going to chuck nice. it off, though, and still so able to pick it up. Yeah. Forcing Mark to the ledge. Down tilt to make him, you know, cautious going for the regular get up or roll. Covers it up with that jump get up. And that cross up neutral air getting behind him, baiting to buzz to do an action out of shield, but no, unable to connect. Got to a little bit more damage, but not, not too serious. Okay. Yo, that second hit in there again. It's so good, especially so when you good. consider how Almar's moves can be ripped through with hitboxes. Oh, and he got caught with the bike in his hands. That's gonna be a stock to Yo, Buzz. And that was sick too. The Buzz threw away the yellow Pikmin so he could have the purple Pikmin at the front. He doesn't have time for the whistle. And then he just hit it. The Buzz making constant 200 IQ plays. The micromanagement you have to go through with this character. Certainly something Yo, that impresses me. He has two purples me. now. Yo. Oh, and a waft, and that'll that do it. doesn't matter. Dramatic finish. Doesn't matter every purples you have. Dramatic no. finish. No lineup in the world can save you from that waft. Also, another thing that makes this matchup a little bit tricky for Olimar is that the Pikmin can extend the hitboxes yes. on moves, especially that waft. Yes. So that you got to be very mindful of your surroundings. And that can't really recover safely against Warrior. I mean, you saw that down air just absolutely blending up the buzz. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, Wario kind of just like shrugs off Pikmin, you know? He's already hitting buttons in the air all the time. That like yeah. the second that he gets hit by a Pikmin, he's probably already knocking it off what I've been thinking. It doesn't matter if he lacks range, right? Because you can just, one, tear through the hitboxes anyway, and two, use that mobility to get in and out. And that's something Olimar has a little bit of trouble with. Well, yeah, yeah, he can't like, if you're playing him like straight up on the ground, Olimar can play that ground game. But if you're being really maneuverable in the air, Olimar can't really contest that at all times. All right, he's gonna go for the Palutena, all right, so. Yeah, maybe recognizing the holes Olimar has in that matchup. Yeah, I might be taking like possibly the lesser two evils here. You know? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Palutena definitely has the hitboxes to contend with this character to keep him out, to make him regret trying to challenge her. Oh. But it's gonna be a, oh, oh the buzz with Yo. the zero to death. 
Yo! Quit what you're talking about. This game is going on here, Max. That is a zero to death right oh, there. Oh, my lord. And he just goes to the top platform to retreat. He knew that command grab was coming. You're not scaring this man with the Yo, shield to bust. Real talk, though, I like this, because he changed the Palutena on his counter pick, so he knew he could get Battlefield. I like that. New game, new character, new me. Seriously, though. Imagine ever seeing this matchup in top A in Smash 4. Literally oh, oh, man. never. Yeah, nah. Literally never. Don't think so. Yo, that was great. Realizing he was going to go for some kind of like tech in or, you know, air dodge in. Just barely went for that forward smash. Tweak that finally finding his way in. Just going to get a couple quick aerials. What does he have for this ledge? Oh. No, just lets him get away with murder on that roll. Well, I, he was definitely like trying to force something out with that neutral B, but has too much in lag to really do much about it. Again, trying to find his way in with these drifts and forward airs, but the buzz putting out these hitboxes like a wall. All right, the chase down from Tweak in the corner. But the buzz he's content to just play there. He's used to playing zoning-based characters. He's always going to be backing up. And this man is not scared in that position. That's true. Oh, and the ledge roll. Tweak catching yeah. on a little bit. I was going to say, Buzz still has to be careful with those tilts, especially forward tilt and up tilt. So that helps that he's going to play a little zony or a little campier because he gets too close to those platforms and can get hit by up tilt. Potentially big breakaway for Tweak, but got cut short by oh. Paltena going off stage. Oh, okay, the chase down. Not gonna let Tweak back on the stage. And DeBuzz still in full control right now. Nice. Tweak realizing that forward air wasn't getting anything strong off it. Goes to the spot dodge, not punished. Still narrowing on cross up. Whoa. Oh, the up air to walk in. That is gonna be the end of yeah. DeBuzz's stock. That's oh, nice. oh, oh, right through, right what? through. Even game. DeBuzz puckering up after that one. Might just have to kiss this game goodbye if Tweet keeps it up. Okay. Oh no, neutral out of the shield there. Palutena's aerial is a little bit too safe. And that's another one. All right, just two, but gets the forward air after. Horrible disadvantage here for Tweak, having trouble landing with these two platforms in the way, allowing the buzz to continue to throw aerials out safely from below. Of course, he's got that serious comeback factor by way of the WAP, and yeah, he's he got confirms. He's got out of shield punishes. And this man is a force to be reckoned with. And that WAP's gonna be ready soon. You can just hold out for that WAP to be ready. <gasps> oh, the tech chase with up tilt, and up tilt will link into the WAP as well. Okay. Tweak, I'm sure, is carefully okay. watching the timer, but now okay. even the half WAP will do it. All right, the buzz getting out of jail right there. Ledge jump neutral air. Such an even fight here. Oh, I love that. Backing up, pivot grab. Wow, I thought he was going to go for the spike. Doesn't do it. Both players within 5% of each other. Literally exactly 5%. Now taking the lead here is Tweak. Oh, the air dodge! No. And he gets forward tilted on the way down wow. to Buzz. Going down 0-2 now. Man, you could see that was a panic option. To Buzz yeah. just not sure of what was coming next. Tweak could have popped up and wafted. Popped up and up aired. Who knows? Let's see it again. Yeah, this is great. And he just wants that air dodge. Oh, maybe he wanted to wave land on the top I think he was trying platform. to wave land on the yeah. platform. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. unfortunate but miscalculation there. Yep, his feet were below it, so not gonna land. That is, that's that's a tough one right there. Really hard squeeze there. And now, as such a lead for Tweak to buzz. I don't know what he has to do to get back into this one. I really don't. Maybe another character switch is in order, but I mean, we've got Olimar, we've got Palutena. Both of them dropped games. What are you gonna say? Who's he oh, going? Oh, is Richter. he going to Richter? Jeez, oh, all right. Oh yeah, that got a reaction from the crowd for sure. Certainly did not expect this here in the winners' finals. Wario and Richter. This is uh, this is a curious pick. I mean, if he can keep Wario out, sure. But I mean, once he gets in, what does Richter do except kind of run away? Oh, okay. You've got that Maybe get that? off me. Maybe the that? DP, okay, man. Yeah. The Dracula I punch. I forget about that move because it's like kind of really bad off stage, but like on stage, it's not bad. It's yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Man, how are you going to forget about the Dracula punch? Man, I don't know. All right, anyway. I didn't play the Haunted Mansion series, wherever they're from. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, I didn't play Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. The heel from Tweak, man, just extending that lead a little bit. That ratio going in his favor. Like Tweak, trying to use that neutral B to catch the landing on stage. This, on is where, this is where Richter excels. He's got his opponent on the edge, but Tweak's so mobile, he's going to be able to get through. Well, that's something that Tweak has to be careful, though, because he's using his double jump in you know, in neutral, and that's exactly what DeBuzz wants, because he can throw that axe that has that arc that'll land perfectly for those Wario jumps. So we'll have to see if that lands. And the Belmont's a character that seems almost tailored for DeBuzz. <gasps> One of the kings of zoning in Smash of all time. Yo, oh, and that'll yeah, do that it, yeah. Say, yeah. Literally can hit with just a tiny, tiny, teeny, teeny little hit. Get him.
Yep, and if you Little intercept hits. the tether while they're reeling in, mm, you could really do some nasty things to these guys off stage. But the Buzz, showing that his zoning capabilities are insane. When he is fighting on the stage, he's got some stuff ready for you. Yeah, Wario having a little bit of trouble getting on stage without a platform. Goes all the way under. Wow, what a recovery there from Tweak. Uses the forward tilt to fend him off. Okay. Oh, another one. Okay, and the axe that's going to cover that entire ledge, whether it's the jump or the neutral getup, it's got a good chance of hitting. The bus has to be careful, though, those dash attacks that could easily be punished by an air from Tweak. And Yo. Richter's Turn forward up and up tilt should do the job at this percent as well. He doesn't even have to risk it on a smash. But really, though, he's struggling to get a kill here. Uh oh. The and bus with some it. huge damage coming his way. Oh, and he yeah. can't reach. Can't come back. The tether just barely grazing the edge, but man, Tweak. Looking like he's about to 3-0 to Buzz. Straight to loser's bracket. That up B really, I mean, it's good, but it's not great, man. <laughs> Wario with a lead like this, there man. That's still not going to kill 207 for this guy. And it's still. Yeah, that's true. It is. He's been using it a ton. All right. There okay. And straight up. Right over the long range attacks. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, he wanted to get that jump from the Buzz there, but instead he just went low. Uh, and again, looking for the jump. Maybe just trying to tell him, hey, that option is off the table, and next time he's going to go for him low. Honestly, like, every option's off the table for him recovering, except the tether grab. But that was really only because Tweak went super ham for that, so this should Fourth kill, throw, yep. thankfully. Jesus Christ. All right, the buzz, somewhat in it. Missed that tech, going to be punished hard, and that down air would have done it. Yeah, this is almost looking like curtains on winner's finals, but... Who knows, man? DeBuzz has done some crazy stuff in his time. This guy is a global top player for a reason. Okay, forward That's... tilt. Oh, just wanted to be a wrist <laughs> bite, I assume. Oh, that might have been a get off me option. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, only him and, and God. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, wow. and he whiffs the jab. Whiffs the back air, but still enough time to get the kill. All right, there we go. Tweak crushing DeBuzz. Three to zero in winner's final, sending him down. Tweak. Now guaranteed top two. All of the wins he's gotten in this top eight, by the way, have been with Wario. He played Donkey Kong for one game and did not pull it off against Nairo. Switched to Wario, all of a sudden he's back in it. This is kind of ridiculous, man. I don't think anyone expected this. We've all seen him play with Krom, with Donkey Kong, but this Wario, we knew it was an option, right? You know, in the house especially, people have been talking about it from the loft, but um, man. What a big screen statement to make, right? Yeah, Sitting seriously. in the winner's side of Grand Finals now, Tweak.